course, when you get to Disney, it's the cleanest part of the world you can imagine. And even Disney Studios in Burbank is sparklingly clean. And the floor is swept, I think, nearly every hour. It feels like you never see a coffee, coffee cup lying around. But as I said earlier, Disney to me was a kind of a god because when I was growing up as a child and didn't know what to do, I recognized through Disney there was something that I really, really responded to. And I think that my favorite film still is Pinocchio, a beautifully drawn animated film. And I did learn to understand and admire the artists who do these, the animators who do this, because they take still drawings and they put them one after the other, and they're able to show not only movement, but also emotion. They can show unrequited love, anger, you know, terror, all through a selection, a, a series of drawings. It's quite amazing uh, what they can do. I really got to, to, to admire them. Uh, um, when I first went there, I felt a bit kind of shy because, you know, the directors had asked me to set the style for Hercules, and they told the animators that. But I kind of felt, well, who am I to go and tell these guys how to draw? Because they all, most of them are pretty good drawers anyway. And, um, but, you know, they they said to me, you, well, don't worry, no, we're used to being told what to do, we're used to being told what to draw. And we eventually got a, you know, I, I, I relaxed and was able to then show them my designs which was a bit scary you know when they when they but they were all very well received and then thereafter when they were actually animating i would go around their desks like a teacher and say you know those ears are too big or these arms are too long or something like that you know and try and put keep the thing on course with my uh, style and so forth uh, are you still getting me bill uh, alan absolutely yeah. Absolutely. Well, you're looking. You're looking like you're. You're looking worried. Anyway, maybe maybe that's what you do. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. So uh, it was a really um, a, a wonderful experience, and um, they treated me like a kind of grand old man, which I guess I was. Or I certainly am. Well, I'm an old man, and um, they, they, there was a. Um, you know, a, a wonderful feeling about the whole thing all the way through and right the way through to the end. And um, um, I think the best characters for me, of course, as you would imagine with my style, were the wicked ones. Uh, I was always more interested in the wicked ones like Hades, who was the god of the underworld, you know. And I immediately thought with him, he's a wonderful character because he's the god, he's the god of hell, you know. And... Um, I thought of a way of um, making him express this hell by having fire about his body, about his personality. Even when he was calmest, or he had this sardonic, this little blue flame flickering like a gas flame flickering around his body. But when he erupted into anger, he burst with flame. Poof! So he, I was able to use the flame as a kind of expressive you know, thing for his persona and for his, um, how he felt at that moment. But um, where I didn't get on so well, I guess, was with the kind of, um, the female characters that I had and needed a lot of help to do, to get the, to get Meg, who was the, the, the main female character. She was kind of um, feisty and so forth and turned out really well, I, but I, I, um, the comic characters and the evil characters, no, I was better at than I was, you know, the 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 love interest or whatever you call it. 